Hey everyone, just want to give you a couple announcements before we get started with the message today. Number one is this, I'm in the process of trying to figure out how to take my videos on Marco Polo and put them on my computer. So far, it's been a failure. Okay. <laughs> a big epic one, because every time I try, all the videos get distorted, they go green, and it's just really weird. So I got to talk to Esther and see if I can figure out what the dealio is. Um, next is staying connected with me, Marco Polo, uh, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, um, emailing, YouTube. I mean, gosh, if you're not connected with me, there's six different venues. So pick one and just join in with me. And that's kind of what I'm doing uh, for everyone so that we can stay connected. My favorite right now is Marco Polo because of the challenges. Uh, I think that's it. I may have more announcements, but I'll probably just blast them to you throughout the week, uh, next week or this week, and uh, we'll figure out what's going on. But hey, that's it for now. Let's get into our message. Well, Easter has come and gone. Oh, big golf, huh? All right. Well, see you later. And mostly feels like it's been so fast because of the fact that we've been at home for the past couple weeks and we really didn't get to spend time with like our church family. But for me, I felt like I did. I, I love getting online. I love talking with a lot of the people and chatting with them on Sunday. I think it was close to like 370 something or something like that people online all at the same time on YouTube listening to Pastor Justin and it was a really cool experience um could I live that way nope but I I'm, I'm a very like people person so I like being around people um, but with that said I want to talk about good news I just got good news I I know right now during this time, it's really hard to find good news, isn't it? But it's funny because I'm hearing good news all the time. I just got good news. I know um, a miracle that's happened. Uh, one of my friends, Gavin, <clears throat> they've been looking for a house for a long time. They finally closed on a house just recently and that's good news. They've been praying and we've been praying as a, a church staff for them and it's happened. And I'm like, that's exciting. I have good news. I just got good news. Um, <clears throat> my neighbor, he's such an awesome guy. I love my neighbor. I love helping him as much as I can. But it's, it's constantly, he's always doing amazing things for my wife and I and my kids. And just recently, uh, we were just talking outside and we were talking about the stock markets and how everything's flopping and... And everything and we've taken money um, what we're doing is is he, we bought a car off of him and we're paying for that car every month but what happens is we take that money and we put it into a the stock market for him and it's his money it's not our money we're paying money every single week and we're putting it into an account that's his our account but it's his money and we're putting it in the stock market investing his money for him isn't that cool but then all of a sudden it comes up to me um, a couple weeks ago and we were talking about the stock market and he just says to me uh, yeah, look at that stock market it's really flopping huh I'm like yeah but you know I'm not too worried about it it'll go back up and all this and that and he says to me you know uh, just keep the money I mean in that moment I I wanted to say words but nothing came out I didn't even know how to respond to what he just said. So I'm thinking, wait, is it, is it like keep the money that we put in or keep the car, like everything? And what he was saying was, is no, it's yours. I don't want any money for the car. You may win this, a new sports car. And I was blown away. I couldn't have thanked him more in that moment. I kept saying, thank you. 
And then I kept saying, no, no, you can't jack. But then I'm like, well, okay, th oh, no, no. And I just kept telling him, thank you, because I was blown away. That good news that I did not expect just rocked me. You know, there's some good news that, um, actually most good news, to be honest with you, is really not made for everyone. I mean, my good news that I just shared with you, thats that was really just for me. Um, say a team wins a championship. The good news is really just for the team. Um, I don't benefit from that. Uh, let's see. Someone getting a helping hand from someone else. The good news is that that person got help, but it didn't give me any benefit. Uh, another good news, maybe a dog saves a person from drowning. Good news. Kids survived, but uh, nothing for me. I'm waiting. Where's the good news for me? Cool story. You know, one of the biggest things I love doing is going through my news feed on my Facebook or something and just seeing all the good news stories. But as you know, it's hard to come by good news, but not in the Bible. Today, we're going to be talking about how Jesus is our Savior. But not only is he our savior, he is the good news. He's good news for every single person. Easter just passed and it's, it's great news because Jesus rose from the grave and, and now we can go to heaven and, and be with him because our sins will be forgiven. But I wanna, I wanna clarify something. A lot of times we look at the good news as Jesus' death and resurrection but that's not where Jesus's good news started here's what's crazy Jesus became our Savior when he was born his whole life is good news I I, I did some research in the Bible and I did some reading and I want you to look up in Luke chapter 2 verse 10 and 11 I'll read it with you here. It says this. But the angel said to them, he's, and they're talking to the, the uh, shepherds, do not be afraid. I bring you good news. Go figure. And um, good news, and I usually say great joy, but it, this says good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today, in the town of David, a savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah. He is the Lord. Now, I read that, I'm thinking to myself, but it's a baby. What's a baby gonna do? How's he gonna save me? It was his life, the way Jesus lived his life. If he would have sinned even once, everything would have been ruined. It wouldn't have been possible. But because of Jesus lived the sinless life, because Jesus was so obedient to God, because Jesus lived the perfect example and then he died on the cross for us and then rose from the grave. The good news is his entire life. The good news is that a savior was born and that a savior died for you and the savior rose from the grave for you. Now that is a savior that is worth bragging about, isn't it? Actually, you know how I know Jesus was the savior and he was our Lord and King? And because, I mean, if you read the, in the Bible, there's so many times where you see people running to Jesus um, and, and trying to get help from him or healing or something. But even the point where some people didn't need any of that stuff, or maybe they didn't realize it, like this young guy. And uh, it's the story about Zacchaeus. Hey it's in Luke 19, 1 through 10. And it just talks about how Zacchaeus quickly uh, was heard that this man was coming to town, the Messiah. So he couldn't see over anyone. He was kind of short. So he ran up into a tree, a sycamore tree, climbed up, gets up there. Jesus is walking by, sees him, says, Zacchaeus, come down. We're going to your house. And they start talking. Then Zacchaeus just comes up to Jesus and just says all these things, what, I, what he's done wrong. Um, I, I've taken money. I'm going to give it back. And then all of a sudden, if I've wronged anyone, I'm going to give them four times more back. And it's just, it's just an amazing story because Zacchaeus realizes, and we don't know when he realizes, but he realizes that he's made mistakes and that he needs to make them better. He's hurt people, 
and needs to make a mend. Let's read it together. It's the last part. Luke 19, and it starts in verse 9. It says, Jesus, Jesus said, said, Salvation has come to this house today. What? This man truly belongs to the family of Abraham. The son of man came to find lost people and save them. It doesn't matter who you are, what sin you think you've committed, or if you've committed every sin. It doesn't matter if you're popular or you're not popular. Jesus came to bring you and me salvation. And that's what he did for Zacchaeus in his home. Have you ever played that game Monopoly? This is kind of how I see Jesus with everything that he's done, the perfect life he lived, and from all the way from being born to his resurrection, he is kind of like, in the game Monopoly, the get out of jail free card. We don't deserve it. We, don't, we didn't earn it. It's a gift. He, he, Jesus was a gift. And if it wasn't for him, we would be lost. So with that said, I just want to encourage you guys, you're going throughout this week, think about all the negative things that are happening and the frustrations and everything. Can you just think for a second, just stop and say, thank you, Jesus, for being my savior, for saving me, setting me free from everything. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. And the only way to heaven is through him. So love you guys. Thank you for listening. And I hope you enjoyed this time together with me. If you want to stay connected and talk some more, please jump on Marco Polo. Uh, you can comment below on the video or whatnot. And, uh, but I'm just going to say, I love you guys and I miss you. Have a good week.